You have assigned soldiers to defend the city above all else. I did? Okay. Well, that's what Captain Garavel wanted to do. So... Commander. What do you know about the Darks? I already talked to him about this. Um, report on the situation in the Arling. The soldiers are doing their best to defend the city of Amaranthine. Scouts report Darkspawn throughout the Arling and amassing. Where the soldiers aren't patrolling, the land is dangerous, Commander. Very dangerous. All right. Good day, Commander. Do you have anything to say, Woolsey? I'm here to serve, Commander. All right, that'll be all. Very well, Commander. Uh, do you guys have anything to say? Villages come and go, but a city that has been sacked can take generations to recover. Commander. Uh, have I not looked at this book yet? Okay. The First Warden. I kind of want to read about the First Warden. The nominal leader of our order is the First Warden, but you can expect little assistance or guidance so far from the Anderfells. Even those close to Weishaupt learn to suffer alone. The murmurs are true. The First Warden is often embroiled in the politics of the Anderfalls and has little opportunity to consider worldly matters. I would like to believe this is a matter of survival, not of political self-interest. Know that your mission is vital. You carry the hopes of our order. If the highest among us holds nobles, titles, noble titles outside of the Anderfalls, perhaps we will be better suited when the next blight comes, as we all know it must. A confidential report from the Warden Commander. Okay, so it wasn't the First Warden. It's the First Warden is in the top warden. Portrait of how? Why does she kind of look like the Bride of Frankenstein? I mean, Nate, you didn't you didn't hear me say that. That, that wasn't out loud, by the way. I was just, Angelus was just thinking that. Funny. Considering all the things that have been taken, it figures this would still be here. Um... Let me guess. Your mother? Good guess. That's her. My father hated my mother. He only dragged this painting out when my grandmother visited, which was not often. Mm. I'd be paraded before her like a soldier on inspection, and she would pick over every floor while father awaited his turn. Wow. Angelus kind of feels really upset about that. He again, the family person, the family person that he is, he's kind of upset that his father hated his mother. Why did he hate your mother? I don't really know. Her family was wealthy. I remember that much. They wouldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole now, of course. I'd be as welcome there as a bad rash. Anyway, someone should take this down. I think it's staring at me. Angelus is that actually made Angelus kind of feel sorry for Nathaniel. I don't think we should dally here. At least a little bit. Commander. Sorry, sorry. I, 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 it, it. I, I had Captain Garavel choose. All right. Sorry. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. The ceremony has gone long enough, Seneschal. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. All right. You met to the nobles and heard them swear their oaths of fealty. Commander. Is there anything new on the situation in the Arling? The soldiers are doing their best to defend the city of Amaranthine. Scouts report darkspawn throughout the Arling and amassing. Where the soldiers aren't patrolling, the land is dangerous, right, right, Commander. Right, right, right. Very dangerous. Yes. Okay. Farewell. Good day, Commander. All right. Commander. All right. Nothing else. All right. It looks like we should go over to Amaranthine. My work here is done. Time to get back into our work clothes. Um. Yeah. Helm of Honolith. The helm of that helm of Honolith looks really goofy on on Angelus. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Dumat spine. Yeah. Okay. Let's set out. 
Uh, I think Rory is probably really upset at Angelus right now because of how. So maybe I should bring yes. these three with me. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rory, we'll, I'll, we'll be back later. I think I think I think you guys need need a break from each other at the moment. Just temporarily. Don't worry. It's nothing permanent. Just temporarily. We just need to give each other some space right now. All things considered. Okay, Nathaniel. Let's see what you got. You. Ooh. Let's make you a shadow. He's an assassin. And. Let's make you a ranger. Yeah. Um. That's filled up. Stealing. Master stealing. Oh, I might need someone who can steal. Who can pickpocket. Um. That might be useful. I will need someone who, who knows herbalism. Um, trap making, don't need that much. Poison, meh, I don't need him to do, to do anything with poisons. Let's go ahead and have him be our main pickpocket person if, in case we do need to steal something. And um, trap making, survival, herbalism, improved combat tactics. I mean, it's we should do this, yeah. All right, uh, lock picks, lock picks. That's probably the most important thing. And oh wow, he's got some pretty awesome eleven. Four, five, six, seven. Um. Let's play around with the new. Yeah, with the new. Uh, Specialization. I didn't read the two new specializations. So there's Shadow. Um, there is no order of organization of Shadows there. Self-taught, elite rogues, masters of concealment and ambush. They strike from the darkness, employing personal decoys and hallucinogenic poisons to distract enemies before sliding a dagger between their ribs. And the Legionnaire Scout. Most tales of the Dwarven Legion of the Dead are likely minstrels fabrications. But the trail of darkspawn corpses that the Legion leaves behind proves the, the efficacy of their training. Legionnaire scouts often travel ahead of their companions and have cons consequently become renowned for unusual tardiness. Hardiness. Tardiness? Hardiness. Able to survive battles that would kill any other rogue. Alright, and, um... Alright, his, his attribute skills are already distributed, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and give him Master Archer. I kind of want to... He needs 52 decks. Alright, we need to get you more decks. Accuracy, as long as this mode is active, the archer's mind is clear of everything except the next shot's trajectory, gaining bonuses to attack damage, range critical chance, and range critical damage, all depend on the archer's dexterity attribute. That's pretty cool. Arrow time. Stop. Arrow time. Intense focus slows the archer's perception of time, effectively reducing the movement speed of enemies who come near for as long as this mode is active, ex ex excepting those of elite rank or higher. This deep concentration strains stamina constantly. Burst shot. Ooh, this archer loses a special shaft, a special shaft that scores an. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get, get, get it out of your system, guys. A special shaft that scores an automatic triple critical hit. Triple critical hit. That's some shaft. The triple critical hit against the targeted enemy then shatters, increasing half the effect on those unfortunate enough to be in this vicinity. Friendly fire possible. Cool. All right. Suppressing fire, scatter shot, because I like scatter shot as well. And uh, let's let's get him yeah, his summons, because I really like the summons. Oh wow. Alright. What are your tactics? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I can mess with that more. So you're a how. Do you have a point, mage? Hey, I'm fond of the hows. I'm also fond of the whys, the whos, and the whats. Mm. How clever. Oh, it's shameful how long it took me to come up with that. <laughs> Great. Uh, I'll mess with his his tactics probably off camera. Alright, because that usually takes, takes some time for me to figure out. Okay.
Chernobyl estate. For generations, the Chernobyls have been among Amaranthi's most prosperous farming families. Their estate cover countless acres in the southern Faravel Plains. Forlorn Cove. The treacherous reefs near the desolate Forlorn Cove have surprised many a sea captain. And the city of Amaranthine. The city of Amaranthine is the jewel of Ferelden's north and the economic heart of the Arling. In more prosperous times, merchant ships filled the port to bursting. Now the city overflows instead with the refugees and the spares. What do I need from the Chernobyl state or state again? I'm just checking this really quickly. Oh. Rescue the daughter, Eileen Bensley. Her kidnappers are demanding 30 sovereigns delivered to an abandoned chantry at Forlorn Cove. Is that... Is that... The Chernobyl's... Is that, is that... Is that this place? Oh no, it's this place. Gotcha. Um... The farmer and her family are under threat from Dark Swan. She has promised to put a good word with Lord Elderbreck if you can protect them. Okay. Wade can make better armor for your soldiers. You find suitable metals. Sergeant Mervyn reports pockets of Dark Swan Vigil. Okay, okay. So, I, I think it makes sense. Before we go to Amaranthine, there's a lot of stuff that we need to get done on Amaranthine. But I think the safety of the citizens are more important. So, let's go to Chernobyl Estate to stop to save the families from the dark spawn and then we're gonna go help the kidnapped they're waiting they're waiting on us on a ransom so I think I can I'll able I think this is the more pressing matter because you know the dark spawn aren't really waiting for anything but these guys are waiting for ransom so I'll go here first then forlorn cave and then go to city Mar amaranthine I think that's in character what makes sense the most and we got ambushed of course hmm Okay, cool. Bandits? Bandits? How dare you? Alright, two arms. Why don't you summon your burr? I'm Time for a little cleanup. There we go. Uh Ravenous Incarnation. Go, Anders, go. So we're we're on um, hard difficulty right now. So I'm hoping that this will be okay. Right. Let's get started. Oh, oh, Anders, 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 heal yourself quickly. Um, here's a health poultice as well. Um. Agrin. It's tougher than I thought. Victory shot. Hard difficulty is tougher than I thought. He's stunned. Um, can you? What is my? Anders, you need to get out of there. Okay. Um, Ogles. I gotta micromanage a little bit more here, folks, because of. <sighs> this difficulty. <laughs> a lot different from easy, that's for sure. A heck of a lot dif different. Um, yeah, Winter's Grasp. Pump. Freeze him if you can. Okay, much better. Ooh. Get him, Burr. Get him. Draining Aura. Drains the life from nearby enemies to heal the mage for as long as the spell is active. Oh, cool. Consider it done. Take a poultice. Move Let me try to drain Aura. Kill. Nice. I'm on it. Ah! Nice. Okay, that's Is it good. just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? I gotta remember this draining aura. Thank you, kind sir. Take this pouch of coins in return. But now I'm off to Vigil's keep. No problem. Cool. The rescued merchant Lilith has agreed to vend her wares at the keep. Search for more merchants. 
Nice. Search for more merchants for the vigil. Awesome. We did a good thing, guys. We fought off these stupid bandits. They're giving us a little bit more difficulty than the Darkspawn were, only because they were at hard. I don't know if there's anything else here. No, no, no. I want to see if there's anything else in this farm. I don't think there is. Alright. Let's move, Nate. Let's move onward. Onward, ladies. Or, gentlemen. Gentlemen, not ladies. Yee! Herlock Alpha. Okay, um. First of all, can we detonate this dark spawn? This should be easy enough. And I'll try to try to freeze you guys. Cone of cold. There we go. We gotta do this strategically right now. Shattering Speed, shot. And it will be done. I was gonna try to shatter them, shatter the iced um, enemies. Arm the danger. Should put up my draining oil. There we go. Consider it done. All right, not too bad. Let's see. Huh. Uh, let's see if I can enslave this ogre. Yep. He is now under my command. Get him. Get him. That's right, ogre. Get him. Wahahaha. Hot. Okay, now that the ogre has done his job, we're gonna detonate him. Don't you dare charge at me! I'll cut you. There we go. Oh no. Oh, this will be fun! All right, we're gonna throw down. Oh, I gotta heal Ogren. Let's get started. Ogren, get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, too late. Great. There goes our. Oh, good, Anders. That's right. Anders can resurrect. Anders, you're awesome. Got some levels. I can resist my own sniper, eh? Hmm. Detonate as you wish. So much for him. All right. We've got a bunch of levels, so. Uh oh, Vel Velana Chernobyl. Good wife, not Velana Chernobyl. Let's get started. Oh, poor thing. I guess we didn't get here in time. Templar corpse. Storm Reacher. Oh no. Well, I got here as fast as I could. I mean, this is the first place that we went on the world map, so I guess there was nothing. This that should be, be easy done. enough. Poor things. Oh, gosh. Well, longbow. A few people leveled. Was did Angelus? Yeah, Angelus leveled. I think I'm gonna make Angelus a uh, lyric thaumaturge. Um, because this is sort of like, um, as I said, he's a social butterfly, and this is very bard-like. So I kind of see that for him. Um, yeah. Spirit Shaman, Blood Dancer, Soul Reaver. Um, yeah. Let's, let's give him that. 
and good. We want, I want the death hex because that's good against bosses. And let's see. I want to start getting some of these things, so I need to increase my decks up by a lot. All right. Lyric thaumaturge. Apparently, I can't get these right now. Oh, because I don't have enough. Right, I don't have the skills, kill points for it yet. But I do need to increase my decks in order to get some of the higher level dual weapon, dual weapon stuff. And Anders looks like leveled. Anders. Um. Yep. Let's get you stoic. The battle mage has learned to harness pain and transform into power, restoring mana whenever the mage suffers damage. That's pretty awesome, actually. And that requires 52 magic. Can I get... Th oh, oh, oh. Regeneration. I need regeneration. Yeah, that's important. Anders needs to heal. And he'll take that so that he can eventually... Um, he can eventually get some of the uh, higher level things in this tree. No, where is it? Anders. 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 Yeah, because he needs 61... It's 52. Yeah, 61 Anders. We need to give you more magic to prepare for that. And Ogles, you're you're good. I just have a talent that I didn't really want to use up for you yet. I'm kind of saving that. Okay. All right. Well, this was a bust. We weren't able to rescue the farmers in this in this part of part of. Uh, Ferelden, Amaranthine, wherever we are. So I guess we're just gonna have to try to rescue that daughter. Forlorn Cave. Here we go. All right. What's with this ransom we need to drop off? Ah. Another step and poor Lady Eileen dies. Where's Lord Bensley? The deal was he'd give us the money himself. Can I just kill you instead? Yeah, this is what I would say. Bensley isn't the one who's going to kill you. I am. Defend yourselves, men. Uh, yeah. I'm not I'm not bothering to give this guy any money or a chance to really yeah nope not at all you guys kidnapped you guys are bandits you kid Mosey the snake are you serious Mosey the snake all right let's do this strategically I'm gonna cast haste you are going to summon the bear you are gonna charge in and Use your fortifying presence. Um, protecting allies. Interesting. Yeah. You's gonna use. Oh. Thrill builds a shield around a party member that absorbs the amount of damage based on the guardian's constitution. She's the entire part. Yeah, I'm gonna use fortifying presence. And Anders, you're gonna freeze. Oh boy, you're gonna freeze. Cone of cold. Step right up. Okay. Anders, um. Nathaniel, after you summon your bear, you're gonna try to shatter. And. Let's see. We can get that. Get some. Hand of winter. Elemental Mastery. Um. Oh, coming right on. <laughs> yeah. Nice, he got shattered. Perfect. Arrow Move slaying. Good Dragon job. Kill. I wasn't sure. I, I'm, I'm, I want to say that Nathaniel was the one who shattered him. Good job. I think. Uh, burst shot. Yes. Yes, very much. Yes. As you wish. Resisted, boo. Uh, scatter shot. 
Good teamwork, folks. Only one shall stand. Come on, Nathaniel. Fire those fire arrows. Pathetic creature at you. Ready to dispense the herd. Perfect. Woo. Although you killed Eileen Bensley's kidnapper, she did not survive. Oh no. Her father may write you to you again at Vigil's Keep. Oh no. I think they killed her before we got here. Ah, oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Tooth of the Mountain Father. Well, this is this is, hasn't started off in the right foot. We tried to save we tried to go and rescue people and didn't succeed in it. She was already dead. Yeah, they cut off <gasps> they cut off her head. They beheaded her, poor thing. <sighs> now now I'm glad I just opened fire on them. They 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 totally deserved that. Stupid bandits. Uh, I've got some sad news to return back. Well, we tried, folks. We tried. Nathaniel's like, yeah, you can't seem to even do that right. Shush, Nathaniel. Let's just go to Amaranthine. We tried. Uh, this was a bust. This is very depressing. The port city of Amaranthine. Okay. Um... I actually think this is a pretty good place for us to stop, guys, uh, because Amaranthine is probably going to take a while for us to get through. So, thanks again for watching this episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Awakening. Tune in next time, and until then, love yourselves and love each other.